All right. Hello. Thanks for coming back. Um, and thank you for joining. If it's your first time being here, I really appreciate it. Um, today, I want to first thank you all who participate in the comment section on Discord. Holy smokes. There's a lot of good stuff going on over there. I say it every week, but new people join in, new conversations, learning new stuff. Um, Guire McGuire just posted a new video. Uh, he was using, uh, just check it out, Use it, utilizing this portion of the uh, Pulsar, which is fantastic. I don't use these uh, eight, uh, eight inch outs enough. I use them for inputs mostly, or to run it out to a tuner or through some effects and stuff. But to just use the Pulsar alone and to utilize these is a really cool way for kill switches and whatnot. Um, really cool conversations about kill switches on the Discord as well. Uh, so today I was trying to, this is all inspired by me trying to, um, just kind of shoot pulses to the Sheas to maybe get, um, little like skips and stuff, um, through phrases. So what I am going to do first, I think, just to get the voices, well, get the voices going, yeah, I'm going to run the ground into the, uh, BCA and just run that out to the base. I just want to get a little melody going back behind here and see what's going on just so you can visualize orally the um, the way the clock manipulates it. Um, I'm going to also connect um, the clock and the sample and hold um, different separately. So let's see how that affects things. First I'm just going to go ahead and clock the uh, clock pin and then I'm going to feel like using the old uh, triangle to slow that down a bit and get a little plucky and see how that goes Clock up that LFO to the 0.25 pin. Cool. And now I'm going to plug 16 into sample and hold. Let's see how that changes things. the data pin to it all through an attenuator here and what I'm going to try to send to it is itself again just like in the last video I may have jumped the gun to show you When it's clocked, and then when you add the sample and hold, it just adds a new dimension to it where it starts to, especially when you amplify the uh, signal going to the uh, data pin. Maybe instead of the two bit, we can send the triangle, which will correlate with the bass, and that might do something different. This isn't even the meat and potatoes, folks. <laughs> I feel like I'm not getting anywhere with this. Alright, anyway, so there we go. 
I don't even know what I'm trying to demonstrate here. I was trying to show, the, earlier I thought I was getting some different stuff going with, um, maybe I need the eight. There we go. So now I have the faster pulse to the clock and the slower pulse to the um, sample and hold. I learned something, okay. I feel like I'm getting more now. And again, this is um, sample, the sample and hold is coming um, from the triangle LFO, so which is going into the data pin. And cool. What I also wanted to show off today is I have been overlooking the clock pin um, for a modulation source for a, kind of a skip. It's a little difficult to work with like a sequencer though. It's kind of a standalone thing so it's a little weird. Um, I don't even know if it's worth like, I don't know. It's it, 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 worth bringing the Octatrack in is what I'm saying. It's worth doing because it sounds awesome. But to add a little skip and what I have the Octatrack set up to do right now, the Octatrack is at... Um, a si it's a, a 60 step pattern so basically it I have everything going and hitting on fives so I, it's not I can't really say it's 5-4 I don't really know but everything's hitting on a five and it's kind of gives a it matches up a little nicely with what I'm about to do with the clock on the pulsar so what I am doing is first shape that up so it doesn't at night I get a little like oh, yeah let's do this what I wanted to do is send some clock to itself um, so one of these dividers um, a couple of these are going to go to an attenuator so four and one are going to this attenuator I think I just hit the camera groovy all as well um, and that is going to go out to the clock and before I connect that I would like to hook up some some rhythms so with these rhythms what I'm going to do is hi-hat is going to go ahead and connect to the point one and that is getting the eighth and it's going to sound kind of boring before I start running the clock into it so bear with me where am I going? Okay, this is enough to demonstrate it. I don't need to get the snare involved yet until I, this will demonstrate what the clock's about to do. So I have all this stuff connected here. I'll keep the attenuator off. Um, cool. And now I'm going to bring in the four and the one clock divider into the clock itself. Okay, and that kind of gives it a little funky groove. And now I'm going to try to sync it up with the Octatrax 1. And I'm going to do that by bringing in um, a little background sample from the Octatrack. This is a lot of work, I know, it's kind of silly. One, two, three, four, five, 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 one. I think that's how it's going. I I felt like an idiot right now. Okay, so I 
just have those playing in the background just for a reference point of what the pull, of what the uh, octa track is doing. It is set at 110 BPM and it is on a 60 beat uh, or a 60 step pattern. for this. I'm going to bring the two into one of the pulse converters. Bring that out to the kick. It's a little off, but I kind of like how it still kind of feels together in a way. I know it's a little goofy. good but then to come back into it might be kind of tough but let's see and then I wanted to try to just loop a vocal over it just to see how silly a vocal goes and I'm gonna get kind of crazy with it and just kind of keep recording over and over and over um, just to get a vocal over there and to see how that goes real quick so to do that I need to connect my uh, microphone that's coming into six 
to get, connect that to one up here that's going to uh, input A on the Octatrack. And let's see how that sounds first. Thank you. 
sounded kind of cool at times and I don't know if it made sense 